in today's video I'm going to explain why in Fortnite Season 8 there are still so many Fortnite Pro players staying on 240Hz rather than switching over to 360Hz. And if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, have you ever wondered yourself maybe why even Mongrel after winning Chapter 2 Season 4 FNCS hasn't switched over to 360Hz even though his own teammate Liquid Mito was at the time already playing on 360Hz and Mongrel could have easily also secured a sponsoring for one of these insane monitors. Even other tier 1 pros from NA like Booger explained this themselves because Booger himself had also a 360Hz monitor but he switched back to 240Hz. Pretty much any high hertz gaming monitor out there on the market guys which goes above 100 hertz has built in motion blur. That's just simply how it works guys. If your monitor has like a really high hertz and especially those cheaper ones they have a ton of motion blur built in. And the same also applies for all these 360 hertz monitors out there. And that's why you can see that still the most popular Fortnite gaming monitor out there is the Zoe XL2546. And this has a really specific reason because Zoe themselves have their own built-in technology which is called DYAC which pretty much helps you to counter this motion blow. I'm just gonna put right now here some footage on screen where we can compare a normal 240Hz with a Zoe XL2546 with this built-in technology. And you can see with DYAC it looks so much sharper especially when we have like faster moving objects. That's like the whole main point guys that your picture is just gonna be so much sharper on a Zoe monitor and that's why also so many Fortnite pro players are waiting until Zoe themselves will maybe in the future eventually make a 360Hz monitor. But on top of that we also have like statements from Booga where he even said himself that 360Hz are super unlikely to achieve in end games, even with like the most beefy PC out there. I mean my man's rocking a RTX 3090 paired with the newest i9 and like 64 gigs of RAM and he even himself said that there's no way that you can achieve 360Hz consistently in an end game. Especially if you're playing like big tournaments, you're playing in the FNCS or whatsoever. You can be really thankful if you're around these 200 FPS. Therefore 240 hertz is probably still the sweet spot because he even said himself that going all the way like from 360 hertz to like 120 hertz when it's like super laggy in a lobby is gonna mess around with your muscle memory so much because you're used to these high hertz you know you're like really used to the smoothest gaming experience out there and out of nowhere your FPS just simply dropped to like 120 and you can't do anything anymore because you're pretty much used to triple the amount of hertz you see right now on your screen. And yeah guys that's pretty much the whole entire reason why so many Fortnite pro players even if you go on like prosettings.com you can still see that like you can still see like 90% of the Fortnite pros are still on 240 hertz and this has this specific reason. Most of them are using by the way as mentioned the Zoe XL2546 because of this certain technology and that's why also in other esports title like CSGO this monitor is still the number one best selling gaming monitor out there on the market. So if you were ever wondering why Zoe monitors are so popular no it's not just because it has like maybe a partnership with like most of the LANs and eSport brands. It's actually because of the built-in features which is super amazing because I myself also own an XL2546 and I can confirm my picture is super sharp even though I'm on like 240Hz and I have no motion blur built in whatsoever at all. And yeah, this is pretty much it. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, ho, come get inside. Dami Gucci, Lee, come take a dive. Kill that shit, but this don't kill the vibe.